So many of you have probably heard that Blender 3.0 now has caustics, which is a really big deal. Now I'm not gonna go into what caustics is. It's a little bit tricky to explain, but I'll quickly show you an example of two different renders here. This one here, as you can see, has no caustics. This is just the default render in Blender. And now with the caustics that comes with Blender 3.0, check this out. And that is quite a different, it's kind of much more physically accurate to how glass or refractive materials behave in the real world. So I'm gonna quickly show you what the build of Blender to download, where you can get it, and how to quickly set it up in a scene. So let's get into it and I think it'll be fun. So first of all, you're gonna to have to get the proper build for this at the moment. So I'm gonna put a link to it in the description below. So you're gonna to have to go to the patch builds and about this one right here, the D13533 has it at the moment. So go ahead, click on that and just download the zip and then extract the zip folder. I'll quickly show you. So inside of that zip, once you've extracted it, you can go and run Blender and then we'll get into it. So let's open up a new scene. So I've got a new scene open up in this build of Blender. And what we're gonna quickly do is just go Shift A. Let's add in real quickly a plane. Let's select our default cube and just delete it and add in the monkey head. Let's give it a subdivision of about three and just give it some shade smooth. Okay, so this is not a modeling tutorial or a, you know, we're making anything in particular. I'm just showing you how caustics work. So this set up the Suzanne monkey head as a quick little scene if you're following along. Add your camera in there. And now that you have a scene, let's go and get into it. So it's real simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your render settings and you're gonna change it from EV to cycles. This does not work in EV at the moment. And then you're gonna go to device. If you have a GPU, I definitely recommend using it. It's not absolutely crucial. I'm gonna use that since I have it. But more importantly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna enable it in a few ways. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the object that we want to cast. So in this case, it's gonna be the monkey head. Go to your object properties. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go under shading here and you can scroll down and this should be an option for caustics in this build. And this is gonna be our caster. It's the thing that casts the caustics, just as the name says. Then you're gonna take the receiver. In this case, it's gonna be the plane or any surface that has to be receiving the caustics that has been cast. So we're gonna make that a caustic receiver. So once we have that done, we need to add in a simple light source. So shift A, go down to your lights and let's add in a sunlight. G, Z, move it up. You guys know how to add in the light. Like I said, this is just keeping it really simple. So let's just add it off to the side here. Go to your lights, and the thing you have to do is enable caustic light, otherwise this won't work. So I'm just gonna go with a strength of five, just for this example. And now if you hit Z and you go rendered, you're not gonna see anything because it only works with refractive material. So let's real quick just select the monkey head, go into the shading workspace, click new, and with this principal shader, just zoom in down here on the transmission, give that a value of one. And you can take the roughness and bring that down a little bit, not all the way. And then now if we hit Z and we go rendered, we're gonna see proper caustics. And there you can see it. So I'm not sure if you guys can pick it up, but if you zoom in here, I'm just gonna quickly isolate a part of the render. You can actually see there is some caustics there. It's not just passing through it and making this dull kind of reflection on the ground. It's making proper caustic reflections with some sharp points, some points that are not so sharp, and it just looks really cool the way the light scatters. And it's a lot more accurate to what we see in the real world. So um, yeah, that's how you set up caustics in Blender. And I hope you guys have found this tutorial useful. Just a quick little one, but yeah, that's pretty much how you do it.